In my first video of this electric toothbrush two years ago, I told you that the battery of this gadget won't last long because it is made of nickel cadmium. In this video, I am going to show how to replace the battery of this Oral B Braun Vitality electric toothbrush. <music> In just over a year, the rubber handle of this electric toothbrush turned black. It may be caused by the minerals of the water. Medyo nasira yung uh, ano, mga rubber dito. But this is still fully operational except that the battery of the device has dwindled from uh, 3 days to only a day or of use or about 3 to 4 toothbrushes after uh, a full charge. Full charging of the battery takes about 16 hours since its wireless charger is a mere 0 0.9 uh, watt. It employs um, trickle charging, a safe charging method which, with a fixed low current. And several weeks ago, I had already purchased a replacement battery. I bought four of this uh, Enelope uh, Nickel Metal Hydride by Panasonic. Um, these batteries are ready to use because these are uh, pre-charged at the factory before shipping and Panasonic claims it can hold up to 70% charge even after 10 years of storage. And each of these battery has a capacity of uh, 1,900 milliampers up to 2,000 milliampers with 1.2 volts rating. Panasonic says charging should be within 10 to 20 hours and overcharging is discouraged. While nickel metal hydride has no battery memory effect, but it has a so-called voltage depression which is often mistaken as memory effect as a result of repeated partial discharge. However, unlike memory effect, voltage depression is reversible with few fully charged and charged cycles. And here's how to open this uh, electric toothbrush, somewhat tricky. So we have to be very careful. Just use a long pliers or any pliers then what you're going to do is um, hold this uh, portion of the toothbrush. Then you have to uh, twist counterclockwise. Again, lang natin ng, ano, we'll just put uh, a cloth to protect the... And uh, this portion here will rotate, will open. This is the, the secret. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's open. Okay. You have to clean inside. It's so slimy you can use a toothbrush to clean this toothbrush medyo napasok na siya ng tubig because um, the rubber has already softened so the uh, waterproofing uh, of this uh, electric toothbrush is already uh, diminishing Although this is an IP67 uh, toothbrush, meaning uh, supposedly um, water cannot get inside because uh, of its uh, waterproofing. But as I said, the rubber is already becoming brittle. So, nakapasok siya. Okay, now you, um, you need to remove the, the whole assembly. Ito siya. This is the whole assembly. Kasama na dito 
yung uh, the main parts and also the battery. The battery is inside. This is the circuit board. This is the coil. This is the other part of the supposedly transformer that supplies battery, the battery with power, okay? The battery is here, the, the yellow one, this one. So we have to remove that. So this is the part, uh, if you can, obs uh, can see, uh, that's the switch, button, the post button switch. This is the, uh, the gear of the motor, and this is the motor here. Now, we have to, we need to remove the circuit board along with the coil here. Then you can notice there are three big soldering points here. One, two, three. These two are connected to the terminals of the motor. And this one is connected to the body, okay? We have to um, desolder this one, and let's see if we also have to desolder the two terminals of the motor if it's needed. Because the battery is inside, we cannot remove the battery unless we take out the circuit board. Okay. Let's see kung matanggal na ba. So we need to remove the solder of the terminal for the motor because it's also attached to the PCB. So, we were able to um, remove the solder here for the circuit board and these two also solders for the uh, terminal of the motor. Now, uh, it's, it has a somewhat like a plastic here, so all you have to do is uh, slowly uh, pop the circuit board. Okay, so I can now remove the circuit board slowly. There's a uh, somewhat like a latch here for the coil. You press that so that you can remove. Okay. Push and slowly take this battery. Okay. This is it. As indicated here, it's NICD, that means nickel cadmium. I thought earlier that this terminal here. Um, was attached to the case but it isn't in fact this is the terminal the positive terminal of the battery so you can see here so I have to resolder this one then remove the terminal here which is uh, also soldered to the battery and the negative side is also soldered but since I can't well, just remove that so I, I would be uh, and desoldering this one, this terminal here. We're going to, to test the voltage of the battery. If it's 1.2, just like this one, this is 1.2 volts. Then, supposedly, this is 1.2 volts. Let's check. So, let's check the reading on the meter. Okay, it's 1.2222 and let's check the new battery, the replacement battery. 
it's 1.285 okay now the only problem now is that um, it's so hard to remove this uh, sheet of metal that is attached to the battery terminals it's not soldered but it is um, a sort of weld see it's not weld it's like uh, it's not soldered it's like it is weld to the terminal that metal sheet there that is serve as connector to the board I have to force this uh, two sheet of metals uh, let's see if I can remove this by uh, a pliers I'll try to pull this out oh okay it's not that hard <laughs> okay then this one will also remove oh okay success then I have to wheel this on the terminal So, okay na yung ano, uh, motor, wander siya. So, we have to reassemble the uh, device, the gadget, para magamit natin ulit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> lepas okay may dalawang ano to dito I really don't know kung ano purpose nito basta dito to siya may dalawang buto uh, ano siya parang bato ano to or something like a kosko pang caution lang kaya siguro to then balik at itong spring dito para yan sa uh, charging charging coil okay yun nag-click na siya Okay, that's it. I hope this short video contributes a lot in your daily life. Meanwhile, your support to this channel is highly appreciated. Until the next video about this video doorbell, Dekan Salamat, ako si Jun Dariman, Hi Tech, bye!